Good morning, guys. This is Jeff with Simply Derivative, and here is our daily trade plan and pre market prep. We've got about a half hour before the market opens. It is Tuesday, August 27th, and we're taking a look at the pre market here in the ES. Um, we've got about a half hour before the market opens. What we wanted to do is just briefly go over, like usual, uh, kind of our game plan, what we're looking at, and what the markets are setting up to do today. Um, so the bigger time frame you can see uh, yesterday we came back down we had gap down on Sunday afternoon when the futures markets opened uh, about 40 points and got back right down into this 28.10 27.75 off of this daily basically this big old wick to the downside which set the low uh, for August so far on 8.6 so we basically came back down to that area held uh, and rallied up uh, yesterday. You can see that here on the 60 minute. You can even see it here on the, the uh, five minute. We had a beautiful gap fill inside day, gap fill, long opportunity right in here at 28.55 yesterday. Uh, worked out nicely. There was a couple shorts as well. Uh, but today, what we expect uh, really is just the market to continue to get back up towards the highs of the of the range. Um, specifically, we have this price level in here right above 2900, looking at 2910 ish, um, up to 2930. Uh, we will be looking for some uh, shorter term pullbacks, uh, day trades, if you will, uh, small profit potential, uh, but consistent winners. And so uh, that's kind of what we're looking for overall um, a rally back up to these areas above 2900. So, what we'd be doing is looking for pullbacks. Uh, to take this uh, up to that level. And so um, that's the game plan for today. We're continuing to rally up and hold these levels. Stay in this range. Looks very similar to, just scroll out. This was last year, starting beginning of October. We had dropped from the highs, got stuck in a range, ultimately broke down and dropped into the end of the year um, similar pattern in the in the sense that we dropped from the highs sitting sideways in a channel this will be a third attempt up at the highs of this channel and we'll see what happens we could be setting up for a break of this in a in a move up uh, or this could simply be a continuation pattern like this was last year as well. You have a drop channel and then a continuation move to the downside. So we'll see. But at least in the short term, we're going to get back up to the highs, uh, back up in here. Um, like I said, above 2900, 2920 up in there, uh, specifically 2908. There's a level right in here that we'd look at for shorting opportunities, 2920. Uh, these bigger zones, these bigger levels uh, on these bigger time frames have wider uh, price ranges. So uh, if you're not comfortable with the, that type of risk, you can always use the micros uh, or you can go down in size uh, or down in time frame. So uh, that's what we're looking for. Like I said, we're looking for a pullback into this range in here before a move back up to these levels up here. So that's what we can expect today. That's what we're going to be looking for. Longs in here, shorts up here. If we don't get up here, then we'd be definitely looking for some longs down in here. If something else materializes in between during the session, then obviously we're going to have to change our game plan. But that's kind of what we're looking at for today. And that's it, guys. Hope you uh, found this information helpful. Um, if you need some guidance in uh, reading what the markets may do, finding turning points, finding swing points, and trying to understand how to uh, take advantage of these opportunities, then definitely check us out at simplyderivative.com. Have a good session today. We will see you guys later.